He pushed him front. We'll break one. We'll break one. We had two of the premier players in all of football, and Gary Zimmerman and, uh, and Tommy Nalen, and obviously Tony Jones as well. Set hot, hot. Elvin, long snap count. Hey, blitz on his way. Davis hand up. Gary Zimmerman was solid. One of the best left tackles in the game. Pro Bowl left tackle, Gary Zimmerman, number 65. That's why he became a Pro Bowler, and one of the absolute best communicators I ever played with. At left tackle, you know, we threw him in there right away his rookie year, and he just dominated. We needed a left tackle, and he was the guy right away. For a big guy, he, he's so athletic. You know, you, you wouldn't think a big guy could be that athletic. And, and I was fortunate enough to play with Jonathan Ogden, who was the same way. And, and Ogden, you know, 6'8", six, 6'9", six, uh, but he's, at, he's so athletic, and he kind of reminded, reminds me of Ryan Clady. The first thing about Ryan Clady, when we were in the room, this rookie comes in, he didn't say a word. You know, Ryan didn't speak at all. And then, you know, rookies usually make mistakes. And I still remember Ryan, I don't think it was until, you know, week one or two in a game that he made a mistake. He was so, uh, you know, focused. He really knew what he was gonna do. And he had the type of talent that I couldn't do half of the stuff, even as a ta fellow tackle that Ryan did. He had great athleticism uh, and really was a great teammate. You know, it's, it's nice as an offense when you could say, you know, you, you don't have to worry about giving your tackles help against guys like Von Miller and Elvis Dumerville, you just say, hey, Ryan Clady, you got that guy. And you don't worry about it. And that's what you did with Ryan Clady. Powered by the game's best offensive line and Tom Nalen. One of the best leverage players I have ever met in my entire life. You know, we get enamored by bench press tests and how strong guys are. And you know what being really strong in the weight room makes you? Really strong in the weight room. Tommy Nalen wasn't a weight room guy, he wasn't a great, like, strong lifting guy. One of the strongest players on the field that I've ever been around. Unbelievable hands, unbelievable leverage, um, played with a nastiness and a, and a tempo, um, super smart, like, understood what the defense was doing back in the day when we declared who the mic was and we we said that's the mic and this is how we're blocking this as opposed to letting the quarterbacks have complete control over everything you know we did that up front and Tommy was in charge of that like I said nastiness um, great leverage guy unbelievable leverage player and we've got Zimmerman who's a cornerstone on the left side Pro Bowl player one of the best ever to play the game I remember a game and Gary had a torn shoulder and they were like, well, Gary's not going to play. And it was, we, you know, we was on a pretty good run. And Gary says, I'm going to play. And my guy's not going to touch y'all. And he didn't. Literally, that was the, that was the, like, the epitome of, of the offensive tackles that are today. Gary Zimmerman was that, was that way before these guys who are now. Uh, played with grit, played with hard, never said anything, but you could count on them. You know, if you, if you, uh, if all things being even, run at Zim. I remember putting, putting together game plans and it was like, okay, we got Gary on the left side. There was no need to chip, no need to like rotate protection that way because Gary's going to lock down the team's best edge rusher. And when you have uh, Gary who comes in and works hard and just by nature never wanted attention, that's a beautiful thing to have. All pro tackle Gary Zimmerman, number 65. He was one of the best players I've ever seen play the game. And I used to not pay a ton of attention to the line, but I remember a year where he had a hurt shoulder, and I noticed how he could still block with one arm kind of close to his, his body to kind of protect it. And his body position, his strength, he was a quiet leader. But he had respect when he got to the Broncos. I mean, he was already an all-pro type of a player, future Hall of Fame type of a player. Um, but he came and fit in right away. And he led not only um, with his words, which were few, but just through his action and just through how good he was as a player. And so again, um, great guy, great family man, great friend, great football player. The most explosive offense in franchise history began up front with center Tom Nalen and guards Mark Schlereth and Brian Habib. Left tackle Gary Zimmerman had another Pro Bowl season. And along with right tackle Broderick Thompson, the offensive line cut Denver's sack total in half from the previous year. I always say one of the most beautiful things in the world is to be in a meeting, you know, in um, a, a meeting, a Monday morning meeting after, after a game. 
and to watch guys, what we call jumping on the hand grenade, you know, guys wanting to accept responsibility. And so, like, I could give up a sack and Gary Zimmerman would be like the first to raise his hand going, no, 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 man, that's on me. You know, I didn't drag long enough or I jumped out too soon. I was supposed to give body presence and Tommy Nail would be like, heck no, I'll take that sack. I mean, we'd literally fight to take responsibility for a negative grade. You know, where most teams are like, oh, no, I, that was not me. I didn't do it, right? We're all fighting for it. So that that ability to connect and that ability to, to be sold out for one another is what made that group so just so special.